Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pearls of Wisdom with Katerina. And Nawasit. Hi, everybody. So, Nawasit, today you want me to talk about chakras. Yes, uh, I'm curious that uh, what are chakras? Okay, so I will share the screen now and we're going to have uh, some pictures here. I have put up the first one already here that the chakras, you can see that is the classical picture about uh, chakras generally, the seven chakras that we have in color. And they are each of the chakras are connected to a gland. Mm -hmm. And the chakra is, is something that transforms etheric or energy Mm -hmm. into our body it is a connection to the aura it is like when you plug in something but it is a two-way thing it has like it has energies that go in and energies that go out mm -hmm. so let me let me explain that when i grew up chakras were not even a topic in europe mm -hmm. um people don't really know about that and then um maybe in the late 80s i started to uh, but i was in india at that time and then i learned about the chakras mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, i i was trying to to connect with the chakras uh, but it was a bit the struggle so i i somehow i somehow did not really feel 100 good about it but it made sense that we are somehow connected. I mean, I know we are connected with other energies. Mm -hmm. um, so wait, let me get to the next slide. So you can see also here in the Asclepius one that this is also connected with the chakras. In fact, you have here, we have the three channels, Ida, Shushumna and Pingala. This in the center is Shushumna. And this here, the crossing points are actually what the chakras are. And here uh -huh. I have another image more in color. You see here the chakras. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, so but we have what seven chakras. Yes, these are the seven chakras. But mm -hmm. what really irritated me from the very beginning is that you see the head of those snakes are here at the third eye and not at the top chakra. Uh -huh. So the, the um, crown chakra, in fact, is not even connected to the other chakras. In that way, it's only connected with the, with the, with the base chakra. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You mm -hmm. cannot see that so well in these pictures, but here you can see that is a picture I found online. It's like, see, they are like um, some uh, depicted like flowers. They are uh -huh. wheels. Chakra in, in Sanskrit means wheels, turning wheels. Turning wheels. Uh -huh. So you can see that one chakra here, the base chakra down there is is going down and this one is going up and all the others are um back to back is is like going in both directions okay front and back yes so mm -hmm. you can see here again in a way this here is a connection that is not connected really with the others uh, and okay. and people also talk about the sexual chakra is 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 the the sacral chakra here mm-hmm so mm. I was I was kind of wondering, and but I mean this is only my opinion. And that's what I found out, and mm -hmm. that's what I was confronted with about 10, 12 years ago. Uh -huh. And I sent that information to a friend of mine to also study, and we came in the end to the same conclusion and met one lady, and she was actually the one who had a protocol how to remove chakras. So oh. you can see the interaction here. Like mm -hmm. when we when we go out with every other people where who we meet, we interact with those chakras that are open. Mm -hmm. Now, now as it you okay. know about the consciousness level, right? Uh-huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. We talked about that many times. Mm -hmm. So generally, people have actually only the two lower chakras really open. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. And most of the communication here, like this communication is on this level. The heart chakra itself, when you look from the consciousness level of the height, mm -hmm. most mm -hmm. people don't have an open heart chakra. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can also see when, when generally, when energetically, when you understand about the chakras, these chakras are the ones that mainly or the communication between, between human beings according to the consciousness level they have, mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of programmed for failure. Oh, okay. So, so it means that if uh, two people have a high level of consciousness, it means that the heart chakra connect together? Yeah. See here, mm -hmm. this is how it is when all the chakras are open and we are connected together. Mm -hmm. But the first picture just shows that most people don't really have the upper chakras open. Mm -hmm. You know that the heart chakra, it, 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 what I feel it is what is opening is when somebody falls madly in love. This oh. is the moment that it, it, everything bursts open. Uh -huh. and, and very often in these moments, people also can open the, the higher chakras and become more spiritual because that's the basic of love. And love is one of the most important thing, I think, is non-judgmental thinking uh -huh. anymore. Don't judge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're so in love with somebody or something, it doesn't matter what happened. You just simply love it. Yeah. <laughs> love without thinking yeah right <laughs> and and then the other chakras they can function too even uh -huh. here the throat chakra that is connected with our speech i would say maybe when the heart chakra is not open the energy cannot really arise so i had a lot of problem and a lot of people also agreed with me that something with this chakra system does not really fit my true understanding especially that that one here you know the base and the, the crown that really mm -hmm. irritated me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, this is this is now one picture of the ladies um i have several information but my friend gave me the home page of this laura lee mystica and she, uh -huh. she is in America, um, and I even went to see her. I went to a workshop with her, but I did uh -huh. remove the chakras way before. So uh -huh. I like this. This is the picture from Barbara Brennan's book. This is, this is a um, copy, um, a screenshot from her book, from Hands uh -huh. of Light. So uh -huh. Laura Lee say, I highly respect her and have been using Barbara's books for years to illustrate how these systems work. Uh -huh. Barbara is a former NASA researcher, scientist, and also extremely intuitive. She can uh -huh. see energy fields and with her uh -huh. science background is able to translate that into scientific terms. The picture below illustrate how she sees the energy field. And I believe that's what she sees is exactly what is there. The manipulated chakra and energy system. Ah, okay. Now you can also see here, like you see in this image here that you know here and here that there is interaction of energy forth and back. Uh -huh. And the baby is born, the chakras are closed, and then they open, I think, with about seven years, if I understand that right. Uh -huh. Now, Navasit, have you ever had that situation that you were sitting or somewhere in a crowd and you had the feeling like some energy from behind is kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. When we you have like, a, I mean? yeah, many people around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like so in the uh -huh. Exactly. And that mm -hmm. disturbs me. And I intuitively always, when I'm sitting in a crowd or when I'm in a, um, when there's a speech or something that I have mm -hmm. to be in a crowd, I always sit in the last row. The last? Yes, the last. Uh -huh. So I have nobody behind me. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
because I, even at that time, I had no idea about chakras, but that irritated me so much. I felt, and especially also here, this energy here, it felt uh -huh. so much as a disturbance. So it means that it's like a, the, the heat is away from your back, right? No, this is energy exchange from other people. Also, uh -huh. if they look at you from behind, you know, and mm -hmm. especially, I mean, there is all kind of energy around. And if, mm. if you are sensitive, you can feel the energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you have also the energy that you interact, like in front, if somebody's standing in front of you, as in the picture before, as I showed you, we are interacting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the problem is that those people who are stronger, they take the energy of those who are weaker. Oh, you mean that automatically? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. so there are people, they are real, literal vampires, because when you stand with them, they steal your energy. So it, it means that they intend to steal. No, right? not even, not even, they might not even intend. Oh, okay. But that's mm -hmm. what is happening because they're stronger. Oh, okay. They mm -hmm. pull on our energy. They pull it mm -hmm. up because they have the more, the more strength they can work okay. with, they more better with higher self-esteem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have it. Um, have you experienced that, for example, that when you are around cer certain people that you get very tired? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly the point, because uh -huh. that's when they steal your energy. It seems like they suck my energy, and I feel fall asleep. Something yes. like that. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I started to work with chakras at that time, I learned that we have to open our chakra, we have to close our chakras, we have to protect ourselves and all that stuff. And kind of, that was weird. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That does not seem natural. Why should I have to open and close chakras? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, but anyway, the chakra is uh, with us when we were, when we were born, right? Well, I'm not 100% sure about that either, because what I have experienced now and what I learned, uh, also what Laura, uh, Laura Lee was talking about, what makes a lot of sense, that these chakras are reptilian implants. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. these chakras are put into our bodies. Hmm. So you know that we are, our bodies are somehow genetic engineered. We are not like, that's not the natural evolution process. We have been seeded on the planet from several star nations. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. we have different races. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe that what she said is right, that the chakras are implants to control us. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I will tell you uh, uh, an experience I had that may explain that. Um, that was around the year 2000, around 20 years ago. Or so mm -hmm. I had, the, I had um, the um, energy rising, you know, I like the really kind of whatever body, everybody talks about enlightenment and uh, your energy is rising and then that stuff. Uh -huh. I felt it and it, it, it really, it really felt very, very sexual. And oh. in the first, in the, this was in a workshop and we were in a workshop of the four faces of women. You know, we have the four aspects of women and it was a very, very good workshop actually uh -huh. organized by Brahma Kumaris at that time. And I had a friend who was um, a member there. Uh -huh. And and we had to write the letter at, as a woman, you know, you you go through several exercises to feel the female energies. And then that was on the, more or less the last day that we had that uh, celebration that we have, um, we are, are here as a woman, we have um, a male energy, but not uh -huh. physically here on the planet, that is uh -huh. our complement in a way. And mm. we had to write the love letter to this like male, um, what do you call it? Other half of us, something like this, mm -hmm. spiritually. Mm. So I did that and that was in a beautiful resort. And after I finished all that, I went down and lay in, in the palm tree garden on a mat. And I kind of was nearly sleeping away. 
And mm -hmm. then this happened. And I was first, I was completely freaking out. Then I said, oh my God, what is happening? I don't know what's <laughs> happening. And then I had like, I heard really that voice. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Just, just come. Uh, we're going to activate your energetic body, something like this. And I felt that and it really, but it was exactly, see, the energy from here went up to here. It was yeah, really uh, this line. I did mm -hmm. not feel any interaction in any other chakra. Uh -huh. It just came down from here and I went straight up here. So from the base to the crowd. Chakra. Yeah. And it oh. was really like an orgasm, but like an orgasm that was, um, I don't know. I cannot, I cannot describe it. It was, it was not so much in the physical body, like an emotional, whatever bodies mm -hmm. it completed the whole body. And oh. it held much longer than when you have a, a physical orgasm, a man, woman together. It uh -huh. was, it held, it held about two weeks. Oh, really? Like I was kind of floating on cloud number seven for about two weeks. Oh, it was fantastic. But it so started it to fade away. Uh, to fade away. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And um, I was very disappointed because I thought this and I felt this tremendous love. You know, I felt this every flower was shining. Everything mm -hmm. was much more vibrant in this kind of two yeah about 10 days two weeks i i cannot tell 100 percent anymore mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then it went away and i did all kind you know i had at that time learned about tantra about many things already i was 50 mm -hmm. years then no and mm -hmm. uh, i had i tried everything but it doesn't come back but about half a year later i had one more experience like that but that did not go for that long and again, I tried to do with breathing exercise, all kind of stuff to, to hold, uh, hold on to it, but it didn't work. Uh, so you try to make it balance? Yeah, I tried to keep it, to keep the balance of this, of this flowing energy, but it didn't work. And I could do whatever mm -hmm. I wanted, it didn't, it didn't happen again. So mm -hmm. I was kind of very devastated. And, and I mm -hmm. was thinking, God, something is wrong. Something is wrong with me, of course, no? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then when I heard about the chakras, um, see here, you see it better that, see that is the base chakra and it goes straight up here to the crown. And it is not connected with the third eye chakra, see? It's coming mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. So we have mm -hmm. Shushumna, the neutral path in a way, and we have Idam Pingala, the male and the female aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, now we are a, a little too, too, this comes later. But anyway, let me explain what happened. So when, when I heard about this chakra that these are implants, it started to make a lot of sense for me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And it started to make a lot of sense also because when I was earlier, uh, I was involved in martial art. I did, I did Tai Chi, uh, Tai Chi Kung. And uh, I was with mm -hmm. my kids also Taekwondo and uh, Kung Fu. So uh, that was when I was around 13, this age. Mm -hmm. And you know, the Chinese system, they work with three centers. You have okay. the Dantian, you have a heart center and the center up here. So three, okay. I will show you the pictures later. Now, okay. when I started to do the, do, do the research, mm -hmm. You know, the third eye, when you look in Egypt mythology, uh -huh. you have this eye of Horus. And this is how it really looks in our brain. Ah, okay. So you can see that actually the eye is the thalamus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not the pineal gland. So when you look at the pineal gland is here, the pituitary gland is here, and here is the thalamus. So the chakra is connected to the pineal gland. The pineal gland, okay. Mm -hmm. See, that is the, the pineal gland is the little one here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have really the feeling something is wrong. So I okay. started to dive into that much more um, psychic in a psychic way. 
And what I figured out is afterwards is like that when you have like, see, this is uh, you're based in the Tantian. There is all the martial art is coming from. This is where your center of energy is to hold you. Like uh, all the movement from martial art come from here. Uh -huh. mm. So when we are aligned with this. Mm. And the next center will be then here, the heart. And the heart is, is the most important center for self-esteem. Self loving yourself to come mm -hmm. to to who you really are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if you look it together i saw it in these colors so down here this is that yellow gold then the yeah. heart is pink and up here this is the violet and the tankian i saw that connection is connected to that what we or the picture that i showed you before mm -hmm. yeah is connected to the thalamus Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So what I concluded is that these reptilians have put the chakra system in front mm. of the thalamus. So we cannot really access the highest knowledge. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. And the Chinese system with Trinity made more sense for me like a system with seven. Uh -huh. You know, you can reduce, reduce, you reduce, and you come more to the core of truth. The more stuff you have around, the, the more away you are from it. And this is a lot of distraction. Mm -hmm. mm. So what I have figured out, and I have started to work with these three after I have removed my chakras, and I cannot hear, this is not the place to explain how to remove them because you have to be in a really safe space because those energy who will put that in you, they don't want you to take it off. Oh, you mean that uh, they don't want us to remove our chakras? No. Mm -hmm. So they will, they will kind of um, interfere if they can, mm -hmm. or even worse. Mm. Okay. But the thing is, I have done chakra removals with many people in these years. In the like that was around, yeah, around 2010 up to 12. Uh -huh. And for example, I remember so well one lady who, who was in a workshop and we did also the chakra removal. I offered that for uh, in within all my workshops, but it, you didn't have to, only those who wanted. Oh, okay. So we had in, uh, we made it on a separate um, in a in a break where the others did something else who didn't want to remove it, but there was only one or two who did not um, want to remove it once they uh -huh. understood what we are talking about now. Mm -hmm. So this lady said she had a back pain. Uh huh since 20 years, 30 years. I mean, she said since a child, and I figure she was around oh. 40. 40 something yeah uh-huh and after that chakra removal we did it in the evening and we went sleeping afterwards i gave him some protective uh, stones and things also into their bedroom so they're really protected she uh -huh. came in the morning and she came and she grabbed me and said you know what i have no more back pain wow and she said, you know, I get up every morning for 20 or whatever years, I don't remember, but years, many years, every um, morning it's gone. Uh, and I had other feedbacks from other people in a similar way. Mm -hmm. So now just imagine what is happening. This is the, the Dantian, the tree Dantian you see here. And this is within the Metatron cube. You can see here the, the, the lower Dantian where we have our energy center, the heart. And here it will be connected with the thalamus. Thalamus. Uh -huh. I just like that pictures. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, let's stop staring. I will, I will explain a couple things to you now. Uh -huh. Now, remember, when you look at that picture, what came up to me is like, for example, the whole sexual abuse 
is only possible with chakras. Oh. Now just think about it. If we can steal energy from chakras, we can put these kind of seven chakras together and steal people's energy. Uh huh. Oh. Hmm. And it, there is something else, you know, when that's why I have the heart chakra so big, like, I see, I say chakra again, I, it's, just, it's kind of a, everybody talks about chakra, so mm -hmm. the heart center. The heart center. Mm -hmm. If I am truly a being that is part of the divine, and uh -huh. my soul, my core, my sacred core of what is life in me is in me. Yeah. What mm -hmm. the hell do I need chakras for? Oh. Yeah. True. Tell me. <laughs> well, need them. Uh huh. Hmm. I work with these three centers. That's what I figured out. Actually, I figured that one out before Laura Lee. Uh, she was working only with one center. And I, when I went into it and I did the whole um, checking out, uh, went into the body, found the, the, the centers, I found those three. And, and mm -hmm. I found also the colors. Everything was very clear. And these centers, they don't need to open, to close, or to be fed from anything else, because this is my inherited divine energy that I have, mm -hmm. and nobody can manipulate. Mm -hmm. Nobody can steal. Ah, so what I believe, now again, that's my belief. <laughs> Whatever other people believe, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I believe that this chakra system is part of an Illuminati or a reptilian, whatever you want to call it, plan for controlling human, especially now, mm -hmm. to steal their energy because that's what they live from. They live from energy of fear. And they remember the two pictures, the first one with the two lower ch uh, chakras that are only connected. This uh -huh. is where they steal our energy. Uh -huh. Because mm -hmm. the higher chakras, they do everything that the higher chakras cannot really be activated. Or uh, maybe just, just maybe a little bit, you know, maybe they function probably a little bit. Uh -huh. Because in mm -hmm. our healing session, when I still was working with chakras, I find very often the chakras disturbed. And this is also something one chakra is turning left and one is right. One is female, one is male, female, male. So the energy was often disturbed and more most of the time somewhere were energies blocked in the body and in the etheric bodies oh mm -hmm. so it means that it can get pain in the back yes because of the the the, the, the block exactly and because mm -hmm. of these chakra systems that is kind of uh, kind of put especially here in front of our real center that we need to mm -hmm. be enlightened they can hold down the consciousness level of humanity and i believe that this was the way they thought to succeed oh okay mm -hmm. makes sense <laughs> okay <laughs> So for me, it's the three dantian that we have here, mm -hmm. and this is really that just just uh, just when I so here it's you know the Catholics when they go to the church, they mm -hmm. get into the holy water, they go here, yeah. they go here, and then they go here, you know. Uh -huh. So this is what kill themselves. So that means oh. that what they do with this kind of cross to disconnect uh -huh. the head from the heart. It's like a negative symbol. And if you wear a cross here, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so a lot of symbols are negative. And I mean, it is like their symbols will betray them because those people who start to understand symbols, and that was an interest of mine since very, very long time that mm -hmm. I studied. So I came point by point, I came to the understanding. And I am very grateful, Laura Lee, she showed us a way how we can remove the chakras. So we can do that. I'm more than happy to help anybody who is ready, but I can, I, they have to come here. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I don't want to take up uh, the the responsibility um, to do something like that if I cannot really control the the energy around it. Okay, so it means that it's like to have to like a set press. Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. I mean, I can teach uh, I can teach some other people how to do it, but it's it's really you you really need to understand how that works to really get rid of it. And you know, when you take something out, even if it's etheric, you need something to put back in, and that's what most people don't. Like oh. you take out uh, an implant or whatever, and then uh -huh. it is like a void in your body somewhere, or some something uh -huh. is not filled when you take out something. You have to fill in something again, and there is where we fill in the energy. So once we have the chakra removed, uh -huh. we need to activate our real soul energy, and then from this energy to fill all this void mm -hmm. that nobody else can put something into you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a form of computer. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So see, it's not that easy. And I know I, I love the chakra. I had beautiful images and it was fun and so whatever. But you know what? That's another new age stuff. Mm -hmm. and you know new age and that, that whole um movements they were completely controlled by the reptilians and i found that out relatively fast mm -hmm. yeah but but after you remove it uh the your feeling also changed or is something <laughs> Good. No. No, no, no sexuality i mean Energy. No, oh. not at all. There was no sexual feeling, nothing at all. I mean, this kind of enlightenment experience was oh, great wow. that I wow. had at that time. But I mean, it was not. It was not right. It was not real. It was not a divine enlightenment. Ah, I see. Uh huh. Interesting. It is more something that like that make you um, addicted to it. You know. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 I and and because when i find peace in my heart mm -hmm. this is lasting yeah this is not gone in two weeks mm -hmm. so that that was what irritated me most mm -hmm. i had it a couple times more or less strong afterwards but two really intense experiences but then it was kind of you know it didn't feel right Mm -hmm. And this is something I cannot explain. But once I've removed the chakras and I was concentrating on my heart mm -hmm. and brought that energy, I felt the energy from here really come out and really kind of become a bubble. And I have also developed out of all this work that I did, the special uh, meditation, how we can protect ourselves, that all those people with chakras who try to pull up your uh, our energies that mm -hmm. they cannot steal your energy anymore mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if you come here in december we can do that if you like to and if the others want to do it wow. too but this is really i mean it's really important to understand what this is about yeah 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 and mm -hmm. i have had contact with many people i sent that information out mm -hmm. and of course, first me too. Oh no, no, no! I work with chakras. I don't want to lose that. And I even made a chakra um, meditation CD and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I even rewrote the, my um, which one? The Violet book. Yeah, the Flower Essence. I was uh -huh. I was working with chakras when I wrote that book the first time. Uh -huh. I rewrote the whole book and take all the chakra out. <laughs> Uh -huh. But I have still something in the in the astrology book. I think there is still about it, but it doesn't matter. Um, mm -hmm. I was told that the chakras are they are going to be removed anyway for everybody. Everybody who's moving in a higher dimension, the chakras will not work anymore. They just crumble and gone. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I feel that I'm since I have done that. I'm more confident. Um, 
the confidence in being that that being that divine being there is no doubt anymore you know yeah, i see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. these are things you cannot explain very well but it, uh -huh. it's very powerful uh -huh. you so have to you feel... kind of really take your power back yeah yeah mm -hmm. good 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 mm -hmm. so interesting <laughs> so that makes sense huh? makes sense makes sense a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's clear for me about the chakras mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so uh, this is what i feel is important to really get back your power that you cannot be vulnerable anymore to any energy vampires mm -hmm. and we don't have to waste our time anymore yes yes and it's also i mean your health is better you're stronger because people cannot really steal your energy anymore it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that that you're a better person or whatever i still get angry <laughs> <once in laughs> <a while. laughs> uh, but uh, generally i have more peace and uh, things bother me bother less you know uh -huh. so it means that peace in mind right mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. but mind and heart Mm -hmm. Mind and heart. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. It's well, you know, we have a lot of brain cells in the heart. You know that, mm -hmm. right? And and if you do something like that, you maybe I did not understand that now at that time that I actually then activated my heart brain cells. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because in a way that 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 chakra thing that also kind of disturbed the the heart brain cells they could not really work mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. and anyway when you look at the seeding of humanity when you look at the like for example this is coming all from the indian vedic tradition and mm -hmm. we have their gods the blue gods you know the blue god uh -huh. and you know in the indian tradition they are blue or green when they yeah, the yeah, yeah. Kali and then the, all those uh -huh. And this is because they are Pleiadian and their blood is based on copper, not on iron like ours. So their oh. skin has a different color. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they could not sustain their life here because of, um, you know, when you saw the movie Avatar. Avatar. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of opposite, you know, but this is where the blue ones came in and the white ones were here or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's very similar. Mm -hmm. So all I can say really, I felt that this is the moment my power really came back to me. And it was in a way very timely. I that mm -hmm. was around 2011-12. It was exactly on that bridge, you know, oh. going to the new time. And I just mm -hmm. think I was, I think I was in Spokane visiting Laura Lee um, and did that. Um, workshop with her in 14 2014 2014 okay. yeah mm -hmm. and uh, this this was very this was a very powerful very good thing and uh, i could really feel like things are kind of coming back to me wow great so great. if we want we can do that we can organize also these uh, chakra removals if people are yeah, interested yeah. in yeah i'm interested in this <laughs> mm, sounds good mm -hmm. okay very good mm -hmm. yeah. any more question about that uh, maybe uh, then no. tomorrow I'll... <laughs> <laughs> very clear very clear and very powerful answer this time okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very good okay so for today that's it um, for all those who watch please like and share Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is kind of the commercial part that we have to <laughs> do a little bit here too uh -huh. and uh, i will also put it out on youtube but i don't think that this will stay there but it's definitely on my variety on channel for to view for everybody thank mm -hmm. you for watching Navasi. thank you very much for the question and uh, thank you so much for the answer uh, and <laughs> thank you for everyone for watching so, see you next time Bye-bye. <laughs> now again, I cannot find it. Okay, here. Yeah.